greetings and welcome back to the channel where everybody is addicted to geography and in today's video we'll be discussing a topic that has been most times you know confused a bit puzzled a bit this topic is the greenhouse effect today we'll be looking at what is the greenhouse effect how it works and what are the impacts that it has on the environment so I guess a good place to start is what is the greenhouse effect well simply put the greenhouse effect is a natural process that occurs in our earth's atmosphere now our earth's atmosphere consists of various gases for example oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen you know all of them you are bright students these gases help to trap the sun's heat and helps to maintain the earth's temperature so the sun's rays reaches the earth's surface some of this heat as it passes through the atmosphere is trapped by the atmosphere so the atmosphere is like a blanket around the earth you know what a blanket does a blanket keeps you warm so the sun's light and heat passes through the atmosphere and it bounces or radiates off the earth's surface now this type of radiation as it bounces off the earth's surface is not strong enough to go back through the earth's atmosphere to go back into space so instead it keeps bouncing between the atmosphere and the earth and this helps to regulate the earth's temperature so as i said it's a natural process it's something that's supposed to happen talking about the greenhouse effect so i thought the best way to teach you about the greenhouse effect would have been to come to a greenhouse yes so i can take this off now because we're in a greenhouse as you can see there are plants right right around so this is a plant nursery that utilizes the greenhouse technique yeah that's my son michael malik yeah you might know him from <laughs> minutes with michael malik anyways so we're here in the greenhouse so remember we said the greenhouse effect allows light to pass through our atmosphere and then to come into our earth but the light and heat can't go back through the atmosphere to go back into space so instead it bounces and re-radiates throughout and that keeps our planet warm the greenhouse effect comes from this effect literal greenhouse activities so the sun comes through here and comes into the greenhouse and keeps our plants warm now this particular greenhouse it has different levels to it so here we have a single layer a single layer which lets in the sunlight and these plants these plants have matured enough to take more of the sunshine so these plants they are matured and they are able to take much more of the sun's light but over here over here if you notice the video will get a lot darker over here we have the much younger plants and they this is a double layer a double layer so we have the smaller plants getting adjusted to the greenhouse effect which is where it gets its name from the light passes through the glass panes of the greenhouse and its heat comes with the light and goes into the greenhouse but the heat cannot go back through the panes of glass so it instead stays in the greenhouse and it helps to keep the plants warm and nice so that is what the greenhouse effect is it's a natural process where the incoming solar radiation also called insulation incoming solar radiation we shorten it and say insulation so that insulation comes through the atmosphere hits the earth warms the earth bounces back and is trapped by the earth's atmosphere type 
of green on the sun side here. Now with this one, as you can see, it's almost transparent, translucent on the top. Now in this one, oh yes, thank you very much. Yes. Let me now in on. here we have a real greenhouse effect going on so in here is very warm so definitely this transparent material allows the light and heat to come inside but the heat cannot go back through this translucent transparent um, rubberized or uh, you know, rubber windows and in here it's called the incubator and to prove to prove to you that in here is much warmer than outside here we have monitoring thermometers here I don't know my camera is out of focus but here we have monitoring thermometers that can tell the temperature inside here and then here if the temperature gets too hot then these jets will mist the plants in here with some moisture Yes. So in here it's called the incubator. So the plants are taking their time to grow. So in here the real greenhouse effect is taking place. Alright, so I'm not gonna allow the temperature to drop, so I'm gonna put back put our shield back. Lock up our plants. Yes. So we see we have different levels of the greenhouse effect in real life happening. So you can see we're going back out into brighter sunshine. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Our earth used to look like this, you know. Yeah. But we started to cut trees down and cut these beautiful plants down. Greenhouse effect in real life. here yep these plants have matured enough to take full rays of the sun Beautiful. Just like the tropical rainforest of the Amazon jungle. Or maybe the tropical rainforest of Blue Mountains. Or the tropical rainforest in Trinidad or Guyana.
All right, thank you again. Welcome, Blessings, sir. The gases responsible for the greenhouse effect are carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, etc. These gases are known as the greenhouse gases because they help to trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere. The primary source of these gases is human activity, such as burning of fossil fuels, cutting down of trees, which is deforestation, and also through agriculture, where you know some of the you know some of the cattle is actually blamed for some of the methane that is responsible for the greenhouse effect. The problem comes in where our human activity we are producing too much of these gases and this is exacerbating it's 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 increasing it's magnifying all of this warming or heating effect of the greenhouse so as we always say let us do things in moderation but we have overdone it we have put too much of the greenhouse gases into the atmosphere therefore it is making our planet warmer and warmer now if the planet gets warmer then all the areas that were permafrost or totally solid and frozen like Antarctica that area will start to melt now sadly much of the carbon dioxide that is in the earth is actually trapped in the ice so guess what when we are melting the ice or getting the planet warmer then this carbon dioxide is going to be released into the atmosphere creating more co2 in the atmosphere which increases which increases and intensifies the greenhouse effect thus making our planet warmer and warmer again which melts more ice which releases more carbon dioxide so you can see it's a vicious cycle that's happening and all of our planet is being warmed and you know what that is called right i'll give you three seconds one two three yes i know you said global warming so global warming this is the increase in the earth's temperature and that can lead to various environmental problems so the ice being melted releases more carbon dioxide but guess what when you melt ice you get more water so therefore that leads to rising sea levels all over the earth now if you live on a mountain then probably that's no problem to you but if you live on a low-lying island which is surrounded by water and the sea level is rising then those extreme conditions would pose a problem for your island and especially islands like the Maldives they are being exposed to sea level rising and much of their island is actually disappearing as we speak intensified greenhouse gases or intensified greenhouse effects can also lead to extreme weather conditions as we can see happening in our earth right now so therefore it is upon us and that's why videos like this exist so that you as students can learn about this effect and it is your future generation that is going to maybe slow down or stop or uh, re reforest the areas that are being deforested right now actually this is the tesla generation where you know many cars are actually electric and they are not relying on fossil fuels to make them go so we are taking steps and you as a future generation will take steps to reduce the carbon footprint which will minimize the greenhouse effect and minimize global warming and all those things that can affect our environment so renewable sources of energy such as solar and wind power electric cars and of course planting more trees and reducing our overall consumption of goods so let me let me sum up all of this the greenhouse effect it's a natural process that occurs in the earth's atmosphere however 
our activities have intensified this effect and it is leading to various problems for our environment. We must therefore take steps to reduce our carbon footprint and minimize greenhouse effects impact and protect the environment for your future generation, your kids and your kids' kids. All right? So, that has been maybe the shortest video on this channel. Yes, I hope you learned a lot about the greenhouse effect. So join me in the next video where we'll talk about another fascinating geographical topic. Peace.